if you suspect a faulty throttle position sensor. Let's go over the common symptoms and how to determine if it's the culprit. Signs of a bad throttle position sensor. So what are the signs of a bad throttle position sensor? One of the first indicators is the check engine light turning on. You might also experience a rough or inconsistent idle, reduced fuel economy, or sudden idle surges. In some cases, the vehicle may enter limp mode. The engine could stall, particularly when coming to a stop, like at a traffic light. Additionally, you may notice hesitation or difficulty when accelerating. What is the throttle position sensor? The throttle position sensor. It's a sensor mounted on the throttle body that measures how far the throttle plate opens when you press the gas pedal. As the plate opens, more air flows into the engine. The throttle position sensor continuously monitors this movement and sends data to the vehicle's onboard computer. This information, combined with input from other sensors, helps the computer adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal engine performance. Essentially, the throttle position sensor is a potentiometer, or variable resistor, that changes resistance as it moves, allowing the computer to track the throttle position in real time. The throttle position sensor operates using three main connections, a ground wire, a signal wire that sends data to the onboard computer, and a power supply. As the throttle plate opens, when you press the gas pedal, the throttle position sensor rotates and its internal contacts change position, altering its resistance. This change in resistance affects the signal voltage. For example, at idle, the throttle position sensor might output around 1.3 volts. As you press the gas and the throttle opens to about 10%, the voltage may increase to approximately 1.9 volts, with the signal continuing to rise as the throttle opens further. When a throttle position sensor goes bad, one of its contact points may wear out, creating a dead spot. For example, if the sensor reaches 10% throttle but that contact point is faulty, the onboard computer won't receive a proper signal. This causes erratic readings, preventing the computer from correctly adjusting the air-fuel mixture, leading to performance issues. Once the throttle moves past the dead spot, the engine may run fine again, until it encounters another worn-out contact. Each time the sensor hits a bad spot, the computer reacts unpredictably, causing inconsistent engine performance. How do you troubleshoot a throttle position sensor? One of the easiest ways is to use the OBD2 scan tool to check for error codes stored in the onboard computer. For example, if you retrieve a code like P0121, it indicates a potential issue with the throttle position sensor. From there, you can perform further testing to confirm the problem or replace the sensor if needed. To test a throttle position sensor with a multimeter, you'll need to back probe the wires, connecting the ground to the signal wire. Start the engine and have someone slowly press the gas pedal while you monitor the voltage on the multimeter. The voltage should increase smoothly as the throttle opens. If you notice sudden jumps, spikes, or erratic readings, it indicates a dead spot or a faulty contact within the sensor. For example, if the voltage should be around 1.9 volts at 10% throttle but instead drops to 0 volts or spikes to 4 volts, the sensor is malfunctioning and needs replacement. Let's summarize. The symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor can include a rough or uneven idle, idle surges, and acceleration issues. These problems occur because the faulty sensor sends incorrect signals to the onboard computer, throwing off the air-fuel mixture and causing performance issues. That's it. If you have anything to add, feel free to leave a comment below. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.